Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how to fill in your notification of works with Capasso? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Cue the intro. What's up, it's your boy Skill from SkillMusicEssay.com and welcome to my channel where I share information with my fellow South African musicians to help them improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing as I do have other videos I think you'll find informative. In this episode, I plan on showing you exactly how to fill in your notification of works with Capasso and sending it through after you are done. I've done a video similar to this before, but I figured I must do an updated version because Capasso has changed a few of the criteria in the notification of works. I'm gonna head over to my PC and then show you exactly how to fill out the notification of works. The very first thing you're gonna do is head over to Google to get to Capasso's website. Um, just type in Capasso, Capasso. Pay very attention, close attention to how Capasso is spelled. One P double -S, S. Capasso. And then you click on Capasso.co.za. I've left the link to the website in the description below. Okay. And then when you get to the Capasso website, this is how it looks like. Go right to the top. Where it says notification of works for just to highlight that you or have to be a member for capacity to send your notification of work so watch i've left the video in the link i've left the link to the video of how to register in the description below so click on notification of works and then it automatically downloads on the bottom left hand side you see here's the capacity notification of works so they've made a few changes to this huh wrong one ah there you go so they've made a few changes. You must enable editing. This is how the notification of works for Capasso looks like. So let's start at the right at the top. So you put in your name. I'm just going to put in a generic name. Use your ID name. So if you have a middle name, Joe um, Bank uh, Soap, that's the name. And your ID number, you must use your ID number. So I'm just going to put a generic one here. Um, wait, there's no zero month one. Um, and then one, something. So if you notice, they haven't formatted your ID number. So the first thing you'll have to do, right click and then click on format cells. And then let's go to number. I think number will work. Yeah. Number and then just remove the decimal places. So this is what it looks like. Okay. It's very tricky that they haven't pre-formatted this form, but it is what it is. And then your contact details. So this is your phone number. Since your phone number starts with the zero, it'll disappear if you're using Excel. So I suggest you put in a comma, not a comma, an apostrophe, sorry, apostrophe. And then you go zero eight three. I'm going to put in my WhatsApp number. So if you need any help with this, let me know. And then this is what the number looks like. Let's just put this one on the left hand side, make life easier. Okay, email address. I'm gonna put in my actual email address. So if you have any questions, you can also use my email address. Okay, and then you put in today's date, which is the first in my case. Uh, let's put the whole thing in April 2020. Okay, it automatically formats, but that's okay. So they've already got an example of what the notif that what you should put in your notification of works okay if you're an independent artist i don't want you to worry too much about the section where it says publisher okay but let's go step by step from the left hand side song title so the st name of the song let's call it um i've actually got a new song out called so hard so let's put that in there and then the writer's name you see they really got joseph in there um, delete everyone else who's in here. Okay. And now it's very important. If you made the beat and you, the rapper, and you own 100% of the song, then you don't need all this other information. So you might as well delete it immediately. But let's say, for an example, you had another beat maker, and let's say it was me, like skill. So Joe Soap, we'll put Joe Soap. Okay, Joe Banker Soap. Okay. And then let's say the other writer's name would be me. Okay. Then the copyright share on the first line for Joe Soap, it would be 50. And then for me, it would be 50. Okay. 50, 50. And then original publisher name. Let's say as an independent artist, not a lot of us have publishers. So let's put in a, and then, 
and then the administered publisher name okay the reason they put this in is some publishers are actually um like middleman to the bigger publishing so obviously share this share publishing is already here but most of the time independent artists wouldn't have that if you don't know the information for the producer it's best that you contact the producer or you can just say you don't leave it blank because you don't actually know okay and then the performer now this is very important the performer is what the name of the person the artist name so joseph is your id name and then performer is your i your alias your aka so let's say joe's banker soap uh his name is soapy soapy is his performer name okay now as you move across adm territory code adm is probably stands for administration so leave whatever's in there it's capacitor at the moment so always make it capacitor just and then mine is capacitor okay but this information i suggest you send it to you send it to your producer and ask him for this information that you're not too sure of okay and then your isrc now it's very important that each song is only allowed to have one isrc unless there's a different version of the song so even though i'll have my own set of isrc's and joe soap will all have his um range of isrc codes it's it is actual practice to just use one isrc for this song and since he is the final artist i suggest that he use his isrc codes unless he doesn't have then use the other guys the the producers isrc codes so isrc codes you get that from risa i've left the link in the bio of how to go about getting your isrc code with risa and that finishes that so just get rid of all this yellow okay now let's say you want to do multiple songs so then you go to another line and then add another song so let's say jump jump okay is the name of the song and then you can copy those two things and then every time you register a song this is how you go about it okay you just copy what can be copied and then name of the performer soapy let me copy this just make sure that uh, everything's not highlighted and then there's a different irsrc code so this would be something like this would be two and so forth and so forth and then you do the same thing for the next line so if you've already got a lot of songs out it's easy to just once you do the first line you just copy everything through paste and then just change this digit obviously the isrc code must be linked to your isrc code so i highly suggest that you have an isrc code sheet running on the side i actually think i'm going to do a separate tutorial for that no i have done one already actually i have done one for the isrc code with risa so just check that video out okay and then once you're done with that you save so let me just save on the desktop um yeah let's just save it as an excel file on the desktop yes i actually should save it as something else let me just change the name for the name just take out xa because that's for example um capacitor notification of works and then put in something like your name so this one will be joe soap joe soap and then i suggest you just put in your date so they know that they've received this long ago you click on save and then from here onwards you just go into your google um and then you just send the email to capasso the email you must send to is notifications at capasso.co.za and then you just put notification of works for your artist name oh, sorry that's the wrong one for this one just so okay and then you say to whom this may concern please view the attached notification of works that's simple and then you just attach that file whether it's an excel sheet or where is it now this thing notifications whether it's an excel sheet or a pdf yeah 
send the PDF if you got the PDF you just attach it and then you click send I'm not gonna send this one because it's not my actual notification work you just click send and then they will actually respond telling you that they've received oh no 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 Loading. they will respond telling you that they've received ah oh, that is sorry they'll send you a notification it works telling you that they i can't seem to find the email now but they do send you a reply saying that they've processed your music which helps a lot um that's the computer side done. That concludes this video where I showed you exactly how to send your notification of works to Capasso. I hope you found this informative and if you did, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and there's a little bell over there that tells you every time I post, please hit the bell. So I've decided to add a little Q&A section at the end of all my videos. So don't be shy to leave any questions that you have in the comments below or send me a message on WhatsApp. I also check that out. My number's in the bio. And I received this question from Mr. M. Ponejo. How do you go about registering a duo with Samro. You don't actually register a duo with any of these organizations. You actually register yourself as an individual. So let's say I have a duo with Silas Beats and it's called Supersonic. We don't register with Samro with Supersonic. I will register myself as Skill Music SA and Silas Beats will register himself as Silas Beats. And then in the notification of works, that is where you put in Supersonic. And then in the notification of works, you split it up 50%, 50% goes to each person or whatever the percentage split is. And until next time, Skilligan the Hooligan signing. Oh.